All right, welcome to another episode. And today we're going to be doing part two of 30 albums that turned 30 years old this year. So albums released in 1992 that I was listening to back in the day that I absolutely loved back then. And not necessary that uh, I still love all of them. But uh, yeah, most of them I do. And today's album, I definitely, absolutely still love it. So today we're going to be talking about the fifth full length from American industrial metal band Ministry, that is Psalm 69, The Way to Succeed and The Way to Suck Egg. So Ministry started off as a sort of, um, what were they, a sort of gothic, dancey, synth poppy band. But over the years, at least over the course of their first uh, two albums, they kind of uh, morphed into a more industrial, slightly heavier sound. And I think uh, The Mind is a Terrible Thing to Face and uh, The Land of Rape and Honey were both uh, good albums getting onto the heavier side of uh, electronic music and the heavier side of uh, getting towards uh, rock and industrial. But Psalm 69 took everything to a different level. I mean, this album blew my mind, right? It filled with fantasy. Fantastic riffs. It's got uh, a lot of anger, and the band, at least till that point, had never embraced heavy metal as much as they did on this album. Now, this album, I'd say, has bits of crash, it has bits of groove metal, it has some straight out speed metal, but it's always backed up by that industrial beat. And I think I first heard this when uh, Just One Fix started coming up on uh, MTV. And uh, that was my first introduction to the band. And it pretty much blew my mind, right? And for the longest time, I only had this as um, a recorded cassette. So not sure what the source was. Yeah, source was unknown. But I did have it uh, recorded on a blank tape. And that used to constantly play in the car on a really, really shitty stereo back then. And equally shitty boombox at home. and. It was amazing. I mean, I'd never heard anything like it, right? Um, pretty hit machine from Nine Inch Nails had come out the year before, but I wouldn't hear that uh, till much later. And uh, Broken, the Nine Inch Nails EP came out the same year. And I think I heard it maybe around the same time as uh, Psalm 69, but uh, this was the album that had a huge impact on and just some amazing songs. The album starts with the NWO, a new, new World Order. Killer, killer riff, great groove. Then it goes into Just One Fix. And if you've never heard Ministry, listen to Just One Fix. And then listen to Ramstein's uh, Do Haas, their big breakthrough hit single. And tell me Ramstein didn't rip off Ministry. I mean, go ahead, check those two songs up. And then, of course, you had uh, Jesus Built My Hot Rod with um, the vocalist from Butthole Surfers, Gibby Haynes, I think his name is. And uh, then you had Scarecrow, which was like this long, uh, sludgy, bleak, bleak song. And yeah, I mean, it was just an experience, right? This album, even today, is an experience from start to finish. And it closes with uh, what Grace, which is kind of like an instrumental thing. And uh, just a fantastic album all the way through. Now, the band, of course, um, was supposedly racked with um, uh, tension and it split already during the recording of this album into two uh, factions one led by Paul Barker and the other led by uh, Al Jorgensen, who was also the vocalist. And uh, lots of drug problems and lots of tension, like I said. And maybe that's what uh, made this such an amazing album. You know? All of that friction must have uh, captured some lightning in the bottle, if you will. Because they, were, they never sounded as vital and as alive as they did on Psalm 69, either before or after. This, for me, is their absolute high point. Filth Pick, the follow up was. A good album, very bleak and very dark, 
And the album after that, Dark Side of the Spoon, is something that uh, I have a soft spot for. Again, a very bleak album, kind of uh, riddled with uh, Jorgensen's heroin addiction, I would think. And uh, also, I mean, the title itself, right? And a super dark album cover. But um, yeah, and after that, I mean, their last few albums have been, to put it mildly, quite uh, disappointing. But Psalm 69, 30 years on, this album still just absolutely rules. Ministry, Psalm 69, The Way to Suck Eggs and The Way to Succeed. I got that uh, mixed up. It's actually the other way around. And there's also some connection with Alistair Crowley and some of the books he wrote and how the subtitle connects to uh 69 but you can read all of that up in wikipedia right because as an experience this album was just amazing absolutely amazing and it still is these songs still hold up this album still holds up there's a lot of anger on this album that still sounds real and uh, still sounds relevant really like a lot of people say that, uh, oh, Al Jorgensen and Ministry have become anti far, they've become uh, left leaning or whatever you want to say, but they always were, right? That's not a new thing. It's just that I guess uh, Jorgensen felt like he had to make that point just in case people hadn't realized yet and weren't paying attention back in the day. And that's what he did. But this is as. Uh, political, as angry and as vital as it came in 1992. And it is still just as vital and angry today, 30 years later. Ministry Psalm 69, the way to succeed and the way to suck eggs. So next week we'll be doing something a lot more extreme. We're venturing into some death metal from 30 years ago and uh, taking a trip down memory lane with the uh, Deocide's Legion, tune in for that and uh, subscribe if you like what you're seeing, uh, like the video, drop a line in the comments with what your favorite albums are from 1992 and uh, let me know if you want me to talk about any specific albums as well. So that's it for me for now. Have a good one. Cheers.